In today's video, I'm going to start week one of Organized Christmas. This week, we have the front porch, which you need to super deep clean. I have a pressure washer, and I just think that's the best way to clean anything. Now's a good time to replace mats, replace wreaths, get rid of stuff, clean, organize, throw out all these, you know, little junk and, and carry-all areas. A lot of this stuff we've been kind of like dealing with this summer, like, Getting rid of toys the kids don't play with, um, replace some of the lights in the yard. And I put the other ones here to see if they actually worked or if they were actually broken. And of course they were broken, but I never threw them away. Little things like that. It kind of is a pain and it takes a long time, but it's so worth it in the end when you see the, you know, outcome of it. The other thing for this week that was kind of important is just getting everything started. So, you know, figuring out your budget for Christmas, figuring out your master gift list for Christmas, uh, figuring out like what you've purchased already for Christmas and kind of going through all of those things and um, getting them in your binder, getting it organized so that you aren't overwhelmed and don't have like too much on your plate, if that makes any sense. And all of this falls under the... Um, holiday grand plan. If you want to follow the holiday house and holidays plan, it's planning and paper week, work week, which kind of goes the same. It's like go through your office, go through and declutter like how you organize your paperwork and bills and all that stuff. Find an area for you to plan, make your Christmas notebook, focus on your family values, um, you know, make your budget, start your savings plan and create your master gift list. Of course, I kind of do a little bit of both. I just pop in what pertains to me because some things may not pertain to me that may pertain to other people. Um, for me, the holiday grand plan has always been the one that I gravitate to just a little bit more. I don't know why it just always has been. I like starting in the front porch. So for me, it's still early for us. So I will be taking off my Americana banners and I will be replacing our mats that I already have. I have a new wreath and, um, the pillows are going to stay the same. I don't think I have any new pillows this year, but that was something that I will do. And you'll probably see like the thumbnail of this video will be my front porch decorated for fall, but I'm going to wait until like September 1st, almost exactly to do that. Um, you know, make sure whenever you're thinking about your budget, you think of everyone, friends, family, school, church, the people that you tip, um, any and everybody go through your list kind of last year and see who you bought things for. If you do Christmas cards, this is also the time when you want to make your Christmas card list. Think of all the visits that you would like to make. For us, we're hoping to visit Helen, Georgia this year, and we're hoping to visit Grinch and Universal, as well as do a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Think of if you're doing any parties or entertaining, and also this is a time for you to think of your menus, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, etc., and then goodies. Decide how much you need to make and when you should start baking and cooking or even just preparing and then freezing those cookies. I do want to do that this year. That is something I keep saying that I'm going to do and I never do. Um, well, I'm not sure on Thanksgiving yet. Uh, if we go to Universal... I kind of wanted to go for the full week, but then the kids are like, no, we want to do Thanksgiving at home. So we may be coming home on Wednesday and then cooking. So that means I really need to be prepared for Thanksgiving ahead of time. Um, making and freezing ahead meals. I never do that because it just doesn't work out for me. And then start a long-term shopping list and divide it into canned foods, perishables for each holiday, linens, dishes, decorations, etc. And then slowly start buying that over the next few weeks. And then, of course, make your Christmas planner. So I worked really hard this week on the front porch. I think it turned out really, really good. I was absolutely disgusted how much, like, dirt was coming out of everything. But it's super clean out there now. And then, like I said, probably this weekend I will be going ahead and switching over to my fall wreath mat. And I have, like, a little sign that I, I put out there. And then closer to Halloween, I will do more of, like, a Halloween porch. But I did get everything super, super cleaned. It took me a while with a pressure washer, but I love when an area outside is pressure washed. I think it just make thing, makes things look so much better. And then, like you'll see later in this video, I did have my planner. I did have a Christmas notebook. Um, 
I took it serious this week. Like I'm ready for, for Christmas and I'm kind of following the holiday grand plan and the house and holidays plan. The other one is like a six week plan and I just need a little bit more time to spread things out to get them all done. And then like I said, I think I say later in this video, like I had come back from the pool. So I was in my bathing suit and my cover up. So like if I got wet and dirty with a pressure washer, I didn't worry about it. It was also Sunday. I washed my hair on Sunday. So if I got super wet and gross, I had to wash my hair anyways. So I wasn't worried about it. So be smart with your planning. Um, and then I pressure washed everything and I ended up emptying out that little bin that had all the skates and stuff in it so much to the point that I can just put all of my gardening stuff, my extra like, um, containers for plants and stuff like that are now all in that. So that makes a lot more sense than like toys that the kids never played with. Good morning and welcome back to my vlog. I'm gonna kind of start a vlog the way I do many vlogs and that is by getting ready for the day. Um, this will be our first week for organized Christmas. Um, so I figured I would chat with you guys this morning as I'm getting ready just because it's a really easy time for me to chat with everybody and kind of talk about what's going on, what I need to do, blah, blah, blah. So for the first week, it's supposed to be the porch and list week. And then for me, I also kind of trickle in that planning and paperwork week. Sorry, I'm just looking at my, um, my Christmas binder. So for me this week, the first thing I did was go and take everything off of my porch, deep cleaned it, pressure washed it. Um, it was disgusting, super disgusting. I, I might be maybe a little bit more of an aggressive pressure washer than my husband because like I got behind the shutters and it was just like black coming out. I got all in the windowsill and it looks like brand new again. I got everywhere and then I just decided, we also have like a little bin that had like, what did it have in it? Just like kids outdoor stuff like chalk and bubbles when they were little. My youngest is about to be 12. We don't have that stuff anymore. So I got rid of everything in there and I've decided that that's where I'm going to put like all of my extra like planters and um, pots and stuff like that. And then maybe even my tools, like my planting tools. So that is something that I want to get done today. Rather, I would like to make sure that I, I have a bin in here and then that will open up a bin in the garage that we can use for other things. Um, and then also whenever I'm out like in the thick of it, like doing yard work, I don't have to like come in the house or open the garage and do all those things. Um, so that's what I want to do there. And then I went through and tried to figure out like, do I need more placemats for next year, for this, you know, holiday season or whatever. So I have, um, I have an old Halloween one that's very bright that I'm going to put, I think, on the back porch or in the garage. And then I have one that I just bought from Kirkland's that I love. It's got little ghosts on it and it says like, happy Halloween. So that'll be my Halloween one that'll go on the front porch. And then I have um, like a Kirkland's, it just has like pumpkins on it and then a W for our last name. So. Um, that will be my fall one. It's a little, like this will be the last season, but I was like, it's good for one season. 
And then the only thing is, is I need to get, I like to put a mat under my placemats. I know it's stupid, but I like the way it looks. So, um, both of them have like a gray undertone and then a little bit of white and a little bit of orange. I originally was going to get an orange one, but I'm like, is that too, like, is that going to be too loud? So I have it in my cart. I'm thinking about it still because I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what I'm going to buy from Amazon. And then I have my wreaths and my stuff from last year. I have a Mickey pumpkin head. I have just like a fall leaf wreath, I believe. I have um, my boo to you and fall like long sign. And then I normally just put moms on my porch. So I took everything off. My ferns are in the middle of the yard. I'm basically trying to kill them so that I can throw them in the trash. Uh, so the front porch is clean, good, and I'll show you the video. For paper and planning week, and the other part of porch week is list week, which I feel like is very similar to this. Um, declutter, you know, and uh, paperwork area, clean the paperwork area, tidy your household filing system. That stuff is done. That stuff is stuff that I do every week. I have a very good system. I like the way it works. Schedule time for planning, set up a Christmas planner, do your values, make a planning center, establish a budget, start saving Christmas cash, and begin your master gift list. That are, those are things that I wanna work on this week. I do have a Christmas notebook and um, a little, like I saw it on um, Charlotte, is it? I wanna say it's Charlotte Grove Farmhouse, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but I saw it on her video and she had like a purse insert that she used for planning. And I was like, that's genius. So I'm gonna have like my special pins and pencils in there. Um, my Christmas planner will go in there. Like everything is gonna go in there. So it's all in one central spot and I'm gonna put it on the little um, like shelf thing in our office. I might try to see if I can find a cute basket and maybe put it on the floor next to my desk, like a Christmassy basket. So it's all right there. And then my plan is also to put like all of my receipts in there. Um, sorry. Um, my cash envelopes in there. Like everything is going to go in there. I do want to get a nice envelope for receipts. I have some reusable ones in my teacher stuff, like um, nylon ones. I think I'm going to pull like a red or a green one out for receipts. Um, I did go ahead and send the kids a list. So check up, I will check out throughout the week and show you my little like blips of things that I'm doing um, to be prepared and be proactive. I do also, I realize that I only have, I don't know which one this is because I know the one that I wrote down just in my handwriting was um, the holiday grand plan. I think this is the home and holidays plan or something like that. House and holidays plan. So I have this one. I don't have the holiday grand plan printed. So I want to print that this week um, to be able to go along with it and then organize my binder a little bit more of like, it's kind of that way. Like the first things that I have in front of a divider would be budgeting stuff and then I have nothing and then I have all of my lists and then I have more budget stuff and then I have gift lists and then I have recipes so also fix this binder up so that it's perfect and it makes sense so that is my introduction all eight minutes and 33 seconds of it let's see how this week goes let's see what I get accomplished and I am super excited I think the feedback was great on this and um it's little things like I literally went to the pool one day and I was like, okay, I'm still in my swimsuit and I had my cover up on. Obviously I'm going to pressure wash. I was, I was hot. I was sweaty. It cooled me off. 
and I was already in a bathing suit, so if I got wet, it wasn't a big deal. It literally took me all of, if you count me setting up, taking down the pressure washer, waiting for everything to dry, which was like 45 minutes to an hour of me being inside, like showering and getting the gunk off of me, like maybe an hour and a half. So today I got in two of my little packages and I forgot to mention about Christmas mats. I do not have a mat to go on top of like my red mat, but I do have a red and white mat. I'm using it right now um, for like, I don't know, I guess you would call it like Americana type decor that I have. Um, so I do have like the bottom mat, but I do not have the other one. So I will need a mat, but I'll get that from like Kirkland or something. But this is my, sorry, the lighting is This is my cute little, it's just a composition notebook. Um, it's all Christmas themed. And then this is that purse organizer I was talking about. So it's two pieces, it's by, Lexian, I don't know. So it would be like if you had it in a purse or whatever. But so I have that there. And then this glues in, or like Velcro's inside. So then like I could put my Christmas planner in here. I don't know if it's gonna fit. No, it won't. So I could, but I could take this out. Yes, I could totally get that in there without my Christmas planner, or with my Christmas planner. I mean, ooh. but there's like little pockets inside. There's little pockets outside. I wonder if I could just like not attach it. Because this little thing would be good for like all my cash envelopes, like the little zipper pouch there. It just, I wonder if I could, I could probably get this to go in here. Yeah, I could just have it on the bottom and one side. So that works. And then like there's little pockets here. I could put like a set of pins or whatever in here. So I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna work perfectly. I don't know where it's gonna go. You know what? I have this basket here that has like a plant in it. I'll put that away and I'll have that be my Christmas planning station and I'll get some markers and stuff like that. Like obviously I'm gonna do like reds and greens and stuff like that, but that came in today, which is really good. And then I do wanna work on printables, but I don't have time to do it today. I mean, it's Tuesday, I have plenty of time in the week.